I could just, can you please raise your right hand and place your left hand on the Bible, please? And state your name for the record. Victor P. Stevens, Jr. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you. Thank you. Want to do the same order? Rob? I think you should do reverse, like we do with the township meeting. Okay, I'll go reverse. I have no questions for Victor. <laughs> Tom? I don't have any questions at this time, but I reserve the right to ask questions afterwards. Great. Um, so similar to uh, the, um, where you just heard with, uh, with Fran, I heard that some of us up here were not aware of the uh, work that was being done at the, uh, the swim club for, for the turf field. Can you kind of talk me through when you got involved, what you did, the direction you're following, can you get kind of through the process, Victor? I don't remember a timeline, okay. so I don't want to guess on dates. Okay. Uh, Donna came and asked me, do you think a turf field would fit at swim club? I think her and I went out there and looked at the property, and then I said I really need to know how big it has to be, because we wanted, like you said earlier, a lot of different sizes. And then I met with Bob Ward and we kind of looked at the tennis courts, because uh, they're questionable shape, but we kind of moved them around. And then I started contacting, uh, we're a member of a bunch of co-ops our town, see who does what kind of work, contacted them, and started getting prices together to give to Donna. So, so a year before, we had um, passed a resolution up here to have Mazer come in and look at um, putting a possible indoor rec facility on, on that property. Do you recall that? I do not. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so in 2018, we had um, passed a resolution just to see the feasibility of would it go up there. I, I think that um, you actually helped early on uh, meeting up there because the question was, where we get water from, I, I think because of the facility, and I think we met the guys from Mays or Jim and one of his associates and uh, kind of walked through it. So we potentially had looked at that property area before, you know, to potentially, you know, um, um, uh, do other work. So um, I guess at one point in time, then, then you make the call because we needed engineering work that you engaged um, Fran or Donna. Or uh, engage them? Yeah, I can only do one component of it, then I need engineering after that. Yeah, so so my, my question was if, if, you know, we had work done by Mazer last year and come up with the concept plans and some topography engineering work, well, I didn't see them in any of these emails as being reached out to and saying, hey, the work that you did, you know, only months ago, can we have it again or look at it because you know, maybe some of that work could be, I'm not an engineer, Victor, so I'm saying, could it could that you know some of that work have been reused and looked at from a topography standpoint how we're going to run the water line etc for the property i don't know enough about the bubble project to be sure the only thing i remember about that project was going to st john vianney down the street so look at that one they had yeah yeah I, I think i walked through there too one day um just to see conceptually what they had and could, like. yeah you know if we because could, that was a structured one not a fact you know yeah so so yeah, I was just, again, a lot of people, I may have missed it, but I, I didn't see anything, you know, re-utilizing work we already paid for prior year, and I think we paid like 40 grand, 40, 40 something grand the year before, and I said, you know, it would be great if we're going to do something, if we just had work done, to potentially, sure. you know, just, just re reuse the work. So was, was this project prioritized for you as well as a, as a, as a, as a top priority to get this work done? I do a lot of projects where a lot of hats for the town, and everything else still has to go on as well. I just keep moving on this project, keep moving it forward, she said. Okay. So so you started probably, if, if TM got engaged in call early March, there was an email from you with a summary to Donna. February 28th, um, uh, Victor to Donna, and then you CC'd yourself. So I put together some numbers for the work request at the old tennis center, uh, remove existing tennis courts and fencing, remove existing concrete walkways, remove railroad ties, remove light poles, remove water fountain, relocate water service. 
install 81,000 square feet of turf, all grading necessary to allow the installation of turf, construct two new tennis courts, fencing around the tennis courts and turf field, lighting for both the turf and tennis courts, and then you came in at uh, one, one million six hundred seventy-three thousand five hundred. Um, you recall that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the email that Donna and forward to the mayor, and the mayor said, absolutely no brainer, I want to move on this ASAP, so I'll take rings. You, you did pre-work prior to that to come up with that. Right, that it was again, met with the co-op members to get the prices. So it was feasible at the time, you document your findings, and then you're looking, you were saying, I did my job. My part of the job I did, and this is the number we came up with. So if you want to move forward, it, it's, it's your call, and then you need to bring in the, uh, the professionals, I yeah, guess. Yeah, then to meet with everybody else to move it forward. Okay. Were you doing any other, were you doing work up there during this time, or was it, is it really just putting estimates together? Were, were you just, just, yeah, just putting estimates. Earlier in the season, we pushed the material up that's there now because we were able to possibly able to get some material from a project going on in Homedale mm -hmm. to make it a grass area. That's why those big piles are there. But the direction was changed. And I think we walked the last year. That, that was the area where the old tennis courts used to be. We took them down because we went into a contract with a third party, right? It was going to build tennis I think that courts. Was that. Yeah. 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 And so it was the same area you yeah. were looking at. To, yeah. to build the front level is and everything. Okay. Okay. Did, did, because I know you're a busy guy, you, you do a lot in town. Did this take away from any of your other responsibilities that you, you were, weren't able to keep up with because of, of this? Um, I'm never going to let one project take me away from everything else. If I have to stay late, work through lunch, come in early, I'll do what I have to do to serve the people here. Okay, so, so, so work on this did not impact the any of the like, like it made this, more challenge. Yeah. Well I know this summer is a, is a, is an extremely busy time for you because the senior every year I see emails going out, hey we're paving ba 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 road, be prepared, you know, and then you didn't notice people in the mailbox, you tell please you need to use your you know park somewhere else because we're gonna be blocking the road in the morning, right? Ba ba we're gonna be out for the day. And I didn't really see any of that taking place. Th this this summer and see those those constant emails were were you this this summer yeah that's another cut for the road program the, the county and us because it became so popular with everybody in the county we can't exclusively use them anymore and uh, really not until just recently did it finally get approved to list in the funding for the road program so 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 recently means like. Like well, last this, week. Last week. Yeah. So, you, in, but your season ends, I think, in like October, right? No, they'll pay it until the weather turns up too bad. The, the plants usually stay open until around Christmas. Do they? Yeah. So, you, so, so it's now because uh, yeah, I guess it's full full speed ahead now to, to, to focus on yeah, the, the whatever paving. days we can have because again, because we're committed late, they had to have to have contracts and commitments from other towns already. Yeah. We did uh, yesterday. We did Crossroad. Okay. Finally. Was, was that the one we just got the email on? That they, yeah. The school team? Good, 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 thank you. Yeah, because I, I my, my concern was, right, not knowing this, not knowing you were working on this field, right, knowing how important it is for the road program to be done in this town. You, you, you know, you do an outstanding job managing that. Thank you. I didn't see any of that taking place. So I, my concern was, is Victor now being consumed in this? And not taking care of a project that directly that affects our residents. So, you weren't. It wasn't affected because the funding wasn't approved for you to start. Correct. So now the funding's approved. Now, we're, you know, three quarters of the way through the through the season, you're going to be on. And then, and then, I guess, are you still using the county? You're going to outside. Um, no, but we're still using the county this year. We may have to change that with your approval for next year. Have the county finish this year, next year, but also go out for a 2020 program. But go out to bid for this. But with the county, we, you still share, right? So, uh, so you, you don't have exclusivity with no, them, correct? No. So this becomes more and more popular. There's a lot of towns in the county that use them now. Yeah, yeah. They do yeah. a great job. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you have any involvement, uh, Victor, on the um, on the land swap across no, the place? You weren't involved in that. You were specifically just involved with doing some of the due diligence early on, putting this estimate together, sending information about it, and everything was directed by the administrator or 
Yes, that's correct. Um, any point in time did you uh, question Ms. Schrader on is is this a Township Committee approved project? No. Never had that conversation? No. Did she ever say it was a Township Committee approved project to you? She did not. You did. So what did she say? Just gave me numbers together. On the, on the project? Yeah. And then proceed? And then well, get the engineer? Once, once at, at some point she would tell me to start getting what you count to charge it to, what POs to produce. And then I think Fran uh, spoke earlier and said that he got a call from you, I guess, back in April, May, and said, put this on, put a stop on this? Yeah, I, Donna came to me and said, uh, put the project on hold, so I contacted Fran on hold. Okay. Any cost that you and or your staff incurred on the project that would be in addition to the bills that were generated by uh, TNF for this? It didn't cost me anything or the town anything to get estimates together as far as, you know, they don't charge for that. But, but you did say that you had some, I guess, swell dropped off you able to get from another project? No, we never did that. You never did, we that. Never did that? So you didn't really do anything? No. Okay, it was just putting everything together, yeah. analyzing it, and then handing it off, and then it was. Mm -hmm. But you, you, then you would participate in the meetings? Yeah. And then were, were you, the one who determined the field size right there? I got direction from Donna for how big it had to be, then I met with Fran to determine how far the fencing had to be safe for the uh, lines on the field, mm -hmm. so they have nothing but off zone. And um, then, and then you, you, were, you solved, I think in some of the emails I saw that you were able to solve the water problem, but it was, a, I guess, a contact with Nutrients American Water. I think the Nutrients American Water, it right now comes through the woods up from Hayward Hills. Mm -hmm. So bringing it up Bailey Lane uh, would be the most, because you couldn't have a water box in the middle of the field, and it's translate pipe, which is fragile, so you want to try to go, not use that anymore. And probably older, right? Yeah, it's very yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the yeah. diameter is too small, too. Okay. All right. I don't have anything else for you. Thank you. Michael. Victor, how are you? Very well. Uh, I thank you for coming here, my friend. I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 All right. 